Hello again. Here we're looking at the second part of Venn diagrams. We are going to unpack the difference between an AND statement versus an OR statement. We had a little bit of discussion about AND versus OR in our last video about symbolic logic, but now let's dig in a little deeper. The word AND is considered a truth function operator of a logical conjunction. When we use the word AND, we're saying that the statements are true if and only if all of the operands are true. I like peanut butter and jelly means I like both of those things, not just one of them. In Venn diagrams, an AND statement is represented in the Venn diagram by the overlapped zone. Let's check out this example. This Venn diagram shows how many students are enrolled in geometry and Spanish classes at SHS. The bubble on the left represents the geometry students. The bubble on the right represents the Spanish students. I'm gonna highlight the geometry bubble pink. And I'll highlight the Spanish bubble yellow. There's a very special zone in this Venn diagram represented by what's turned orange. This zone represents students who have taken geometry and Spanish. How many students are enrolled in both classes? 81. Let's do the exact same problem, but think it through as if it were an OR statement. The word OR is the truth function operator of a logical disjunction. OR statements can be true if at least one operand is true. Not everything in the statement needs to be true if at least one is true. OR is represented in a Venn diagram by the sum of all the operands. Okay, now let's see what that really means. Same exact Venn diagram we just looked at, but this time we're asked how many students are enrolled in both geometry or Spanish? Okay, there's the big difference. These students are in geometry. These students are in Spanish, and there are 81 students in both. Because we're using the word or, we want to take all three categories of students and add them together. That's a total of 439 students who are taking either geometry or Spanish. Now be really careful here. A lot of students accidentally end up counting this group of 81 twice. There's a total amount, whatever the sum of 244 and 81 is, of students who take geometry. Then a total amount of whatever the sum of 81 and 114 is who take Spanish. But we can't add those two totals together because these 81 students are not twice as many students. Let's do a couple of examples here. We're back to our sports theme, and this time we revved it up a notch. We have a Venn diagram that represents three different sports teams. This Venn diagram illustrates the number of Valley Vista athletes that play soccer, football, and or baseball. Determine the number that would describe each of these compound statements. Now, we have to be really careful of the verbiage used. How many athletes played soccer only? This means that they can't play any other sport except for soccer. That would be this 23 that's independent here. 
Okay, let's do a comparison. How many has played soccer and baseball? Now, remember, an and statement is looking for the overlap zone of a Venn diagram. So, we need to find the soccer team, find the baseball team, and find the zone that overlaps those. I'm going to outline soccer in pink. And I'm going to outline baseball in yellow. This weird little shape here kind of looks like a football is the and zone of soccer and baseball. There are six kids here, eight kids here, for a total of 14 kids who play both sports. Let's try it again with football. How many students play baseball and football? Okay, let's check out the football zone and the baseball zone. I've already got baseball highlighted in yellow, so let's circle football here. The students who are included in the baseball zone and the football zone are in this shape that's combined between the two. Eight kids here and 22 kids here make a total of 30 athletes. Now we're going to switch gears. Look at the verbiage that's used next. How many played football or baseball? So that means they could play football or they could be playing baseball. Well, really, this statement is asking for everybody in the Venn diagram except for the kids who only play soccer. If we cover up that 23, we've got all these students who play football and all these students who play baseball. If we add up that total sum, we're going to get the number of students who played football or baseball. I took a little break to pull out my calculator and do that computation. Here I've added all six categories of students who have played baseball or football for a total of 190 students. A couple more example problems. Same picture. How many played football, soccer, and baseball? So now we're looking for the ultimate overlapped zone, the zone that represents students who play all three sports. That is right in the middle of our Venn diagram. These students are included in the football bubble, the soccer bubble, and the baseball bubble. Finally, our final question is, how many played football or soccer or baseball? Well, since an OR statement is the sum of all parts, this is really asking us how many athletes are in this Venn diagram total. I'm going to take a second and add that up. Okay, if I add up the total of all parts, I come up with a whopping 213 students. I hope this was a good example of how to read a Venn diagram and of what's the difference between an OR statement versus an AND statement. Pause here, give yourself a checkup, and complete the independent practice on the worksheet that goes with this. Make sure you check it with my key and let me see it so that I can go through any mistakes you have and get everything cleaned up before we move on. Thanks so much.